guys, it's uh, XJMX Free Flow here, and uh, I have uh, I've been getting a lot of requests to do some tutorials on uh, some of my editing stuff, and uh, I decided I would do the a uh, little gun mask. I call it, I call it the liquid gun, and I made it, and I'm pretty proud of it. Um, and I used it in my move along edit, and uh, it's it's basically it looks best in like a blue camo gun, but it works pretty much on anything. And I'll show you what it looks like here. You're gonna, it's gonna show a feed. Uh, there's gonna be a DSR feed, and then he's gonna swat, switch feed to the ballista, and then look at the ballista, and then that's what it is. Yeah, so that's that's kind of what it looks like. Um, you know, I'll give you this later, but um, here it is. Here's an example of it um, on a different camo, on a different map, whatever. But uh, yeah, that's just an, an idea of what it is, but uh, um, how you make it. So, first thing, oh, hold on, my after fix is lagging. Alright, first thing, you're gonna go onto the clip, and then you're gonna. I, I, I added some uh, Twixter to uh, slow it down so it would be easier to mask, because I'm not, I'm not looking to do a detailed mask here. But you're gonna add an adjustment layer on there. I'm gonna rename this Gun Mask. Okay. And then I'm gonna trim that up, and I'll just put a. Uh, you're gonna go to. You're gonna press your pen tool, or you can press G. And I'm just gonna do a really quick rough mask on this. You don't want. You don't have to make it too perfect. Even like, even though I am rushing this for the tutorial, it does. The mask does not have to be perfect because the feather looks actually really good on this effect. Um. So yeah. So I'll be right back after I finish masking this. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I didn't do much masking, to be honest, I just cheaply kind of did this, this like two points right here, but um, that's good enough for now, and so we're going to start, first thing you want to do is you want to you wanna go into your mask, and then you want to make sure it's on add, and then you want to feather it to about, I usually do 300 or 350, um, we'll see what it looks like, it, it depends on the camo and how, like, how much you want it to look like, and don't mess with anything else here. But the first thing you're going to want to add on is a fast blur and you're going to throw it on there and then you want to put the blurriness at like 3 you know, three, 3 usually looks pretty good and then you're going to start seeing some change here with invert just go type in invert and it should be under channel and then you're going to want to make the channel um, to hue and then you're going to change the um, blend with original to about like I don't know we can mess around with it I usually I think I did 70 but 70 70 would look yeah that looks fine yeah okay that makes it a little darker all right and then this is when it starts to like sh like get shine really so you're gonna want to throw on shine um or shine okay trap code shine this is a plugin you'll have to uh, download um and so for the source I'm gonna start from the top to bottom. Um, you're gonna put the source point, and I remember. Oh, you don't have to. Be, you would want to keyframe this if you're actually doing it for the edit, but just for the tutorial, I'm just gonna put it. Oh, After Effects respond. You're gonna put it right in the middle of the gun, or like somewhere right there, um, underneath the scope. Usually looks best. Um, change the ray length to about two. Um, the boost light should be maybe four. Four, yeah, four. And then you're gonna go into colorize. And then you're gonna make the uh, you're gonna keep it at three color gradient, and then you want the highlights to be maybe like a like a, like a baby blue kind of thing. So let's go right. Uh, yeah, that that looks pretty good. So right around there, baby blue. Um, the mid tones are going to be like a uh, um, let's see, like a, I think it's, yeah, like a dark bluish kind of kind of look. So something like that look yeah okay and then shadows you're just gonna want it it's like you're gonna go into the blues and then you're gonna want to make it as like it's still blue but like it's very like light blue so something like that yeah perfect okay and then you're going to want to change the wait how come there's no source opacity Oh well, you're gonna change the uh, shine opacity to 80, and the transfer mode. This is important, important, important. You're gonna want to put it on screen. There we go. Okay. 
So after the shine, you're going to add, this is what's going to start making it look like water, is you're going to put on CC blob -bilize. <laughs> uh CC blob -bilize. And this is, you want to, first thing you want to do is you want to make the, uh, the cutaway to two. And this is where you can actually start like messing around with on your own. Um, because this softness, softness right here, if the, the closer you drag it to one, the like more like liquidy it looks, um, more like liquid it looks. And so it, depending on like how liquid you want it, you can make it just like really just like pixelated like that, or you can make it really like not noticeable like that. So I usually go like 20 and it still looks a little bit warpy, but it's, it isn't like obnoxious looking. So you can mess around, mess around with that if you want put it back at 20 and um so after that that's 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 it for that and then you're gonna want to add another shine on this one's gonna be like a, a basic shine it's not like you don't have to mess too much with the settings but so you're going to um first thing i'm gonna go is change the color and then you want to make it a one color gradient so just so just uh like a, a one color and you want to make the color that it is just like a all right let's see maybe you can go just oh, like this. so you want to go to like a baby bluish and then you want to go in the top left and then just a little bit to the right where you can see a little bit of blue but it's mostly white okay and then so after that you're going to want to put the um the source point it's kind of around the same spot and you're going to keyframe these if you're actually like doing this for an edit and you're gonna want to um, change the source opacity at 100. That's good. And then this is gonna be at 60. And then this is important. You want to change this transfer mode here to an add operation. And there, it looks like it's um, um, kind of shining off of it. That's that's what makes it like glow a little bit. And so for the last thing to do, you could be done with this, but um, this is optional. Is uh, I made a little CC here. And this is just like you put it, I just put it on there and it like kind of makes it like a little bit more abstract and like not blend in. And so I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for uh, the download to that uh, Magic Bullet looks. So I use this on basically all my uh, like masking effects and like doors, windows, gun masks. You just throw it on there and it just changes it a little. I'm back, I'm sorry, my uh, Magic Bullet looks, uh, it wasn't updated because I just put the... Uh, the CC in there because I never really had it in my magic bullet looks I just uh, kind of put it from preset to preset but I just updated my magic bullet looks and it wasn't updated so I had to go back and restart magic bullet looks but anyway here I got the mask base CC in here and you just throw it down on there and it's just got all this good stuff on there that uh, kind of makes it look a little bit abstract and when you put it on you finish it and it just uh, kind of just gives it a little bit extra pop and I don't know you, you don't it's optional but I just like the way it looks and um, yeah, that's about it. I'll just move it around a little bit. Yeah, that's that's kind of the gist of it. And uh, it looks really good on camos that are blue. Um, so like maybe like aqua camo. Um, this ghost. This is ghost camo, I believe. Yeah, ghost camo. And just I don't know. You can play around with it. But um, I would definitely, if I wanted, if I wanted to customize it more, I would go into the blobbiness of the CC blobbilize or whatever and uh, maybe put it at like 12 and yeah see it kind of just looks like faker like that I don't know it, it's it's all up to personal preference but uh, yeah that's about it so uh, leave a like if you enjoyed and uh, comment comment any other uh, tutorials